Good morning, grade 10. It's Wissam Sharafi. Today, we are going to explain the limit of a function. The limit of a function is the value y get as x approaches to a given value. Before we go to the limit, there are certain items we should learn. The indeterminate forms. These forms are 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity plus or minus it doesn't matter infinity minus infinity 0 times infinity 0 to power 0 1 to power infinity or infinity to power 0 any one of these is considered to be indeterminate form for example to find the limit of a function, and in this case, the function is x plus 1 over x minus 3, we want to find the limit as x approach 2. First thing we do is we should substitute for x2. Here we substituted and we ended up with a number minus 3. If you end up with a number, then the limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 1 over x minus 3 is minus 3, and this is done. Another example, if I want to find the limit as x approaches 1 of a certain function, x minus 1 over x squared minus 1. As we said before, we substitute for x1, we ended up with the 0 over 0, 1 of the indeterminate form. In such a case, we should factorize in order to simplify. The x squared plus 1 is x minus 1 into x plus 1. So, this function will be expressed in the form x minus 1 over x minus 1 into x plus 1. If you eliminate x minus 1, you end up with 1 over x plus 1. And by substituting, the result will be half. Another example, if we want to find the limit as x approach 3 of x squared minus 9 over 2x minus 6. The first thing we do is you substitute. By substitution, we ended up with one of the indeterminate forms 0 over 0. In this case, as we said earlier, you factorize. It will be x minus 3 into x plus 3 over 2 into x minus 3. The x minus 3 can be eliminated from both numerator and denominator. We end up with x plus 3 over 2. Now to find the limit as x approach 3, you write the limit as x approach 3 of the factorized form. You simplify, you end up with x plus 3 over 2, substitute for x3, then the limit will be 3. You should practice in order to be able to solve exercises. These are four exercises for you to practice. Hope you listened and you understood. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.